We're gonna go check all of them, make sure the babies are good, check on Dunbar, see if he's escorting any ladies around right now, and uh, see how they're doing. Let's go. Hey, Eleanor. What's up, Eleanor? You looking pretty. We're hanging out in the shadows. Everybody poop and pee. Sure and get that out of the way. Alright guys, so we are hanging out with the Dunbar herd. Um, I know I've had a subject come up here recently that uh, we need to discuss. And um, basically, I know that... Um, I've got some things to look at. I got some analyzing to do um, because basically at the end of the day, if, if you're thinking business, um, we're losing out on money. And so what that means is, for an example right here, this cow is called Quapaw. Quapaw is one of my, I'd probably say one of my top cows. I just hopped, hopped in the truck because it was safer, but <laughs> Quapaw here is one of my top cows, but um, she's bred every year and had I think two or three calves now and um anyway she was one of my first cows to ever um have a baby here at the Dunbar herd uh place the concern is not the cows the concern is Big Joe and uh unfortunately we're gonna have to get him checked I've never done this before but um we are going to take Big Joe um, to Doc Parsons. Now, I say we're going to take him. We've got to get him, bring the whole herd up, get him in our handling system. Now, I don't have a squeeze shoe. I don't have a true bison handling system yet. I'm using what uh, is existing with a little bit of modifications. But there is a lane and there is an alley that uh, I'll should, I should be able to get Big Joe down and loaded up into my trailer. Um, so I've got to get the herd to come up, catch him in our main area, get him in the corral system, and then single him out, hopefully, and get him loaded up on the trailer. And the plan is to take him to Doc Parsons' place, the guy I always talk about all the time. Um, and we are going to... We're going to get Big Joe semen tested. And so I called and talked to Gerald about it, uh, Doc, and he said, well, we can we can um, test him and see because I've talked to him about how we only have three babies this year. And um, we switched him and Dunbar, who's right down here, uh, out last summer to see if we could get some Big Joe babies and spread his love a little bit more since we only had two of his off offspring. And we knew we were going to eventually take him to the Ponderosa if everything went right. And uh, which it did. We got the land and the plans went through and we took Big Joe over to the Ponderosa. And so this is where we're at. And um, unfortunately, we're going to have to go get him fertility tested. And um, we'll see how it goes. We'll know. And, and, and Doc will be able to tell us right then and there within about 20 minutes, he said. He'll be able to tell us if he's good or not. And so, fingers crossed that Big Joe um, has is, is good and is fertile, we hope. Because here's the problem, is we are in breeding season. And the reason I, I, I waited is because I wanted to see how many babies we were going to have. And uh, that kind of gives you an inclination of, it gives you an idea of where we are. What's the status of uh, the offspring? And right now it's not looking good because basically if these cows aren't getting bred as a farmer rancher, you lose money, obviously. And this has to do with cattle, sheep, goats, all livestock. Um, you lose out on money if you're not um, having babies.